beautiful window is devoted to St. Cyril and Methodius. It's, I think, one of the most striking in the chapel. In fact, when I asked the uh, Conrad Schmidt people who put all these windows together, what's your favorite? They said, the two brothers, and they meant these uh, figures. Cyril and Methodius were ninth century brothers from uh, Thessalonica, the town that Paul himself evangelized. And they eventually become uh, missionaries to the Slavic nations. That's why they're here. John Paul II wrote an encyclical on Cyril and Methodius, declaring them the co-patrons of Europe. They're the reason why Karol Wojtyla is, was a Christian. So they um, evangelized the Slavic nations that eventually um, included Poland. Uh, St. Cyril here is holding the um, Cyrillic alphabet. So they um, use this new alphabet to evangelize. It's simply the ABCs there. Um, they're in the beautiful robes of the, the kind of Byzantine church. As I mentioned before, this was very important to John Paul II. The church should breathe with both its lungs, Eastern and Western. So that's why they're here. You see above on the very top is a, is a map of Europe. They're the co-patrons of Europe. Over here is a symbol of the Trinity. So they're great preachers of the Trinity, especially at a time when Islam was just emerging, which was a religion, of course, denying the Trinity. They become great defenders of it. Uh, the sun is evocative of, of wisdom. Here's a, a symbol of, of the Bible. So they uh, are translators of the Bible, evangelists of the Bible. A little a beehive here is a classic symbol of eloquence. So they're eloquent uh, preachers. Look at the lower scene. It's from the life of Cyril, but it has resonance today. It's Cyril in dialogue with a Muslim a scholar. He did so in a very respectful way, in a nonviolent way. And I think especially today, when this is such a, a neuralgic point, to see a Christian evangelist able to engage a non-Christian in a, a respectful and, and illuminating way. So that's why we put this uh, symbol here. My hope is for the guys in the chapel for the next 100 years, they're inspired by the missionary side of um, the holy life. To be called by Christ is always to be sent on mission. So here are these great um, evangelists to the Slavic nations. I hope this chapel might be filled with people who one day will become themselves great evangelizers.